It's time to learn, repair, and maintain everything coffee. Instructional videos brought to you by WholeLatteLove.com. Hi, Mark and Morgan from WholeLatteLove.com. Today we'll show you step by step how to descale semi automatic espresso machines with heat exchange boilers. Like changing the oil in your car, descaling is one thing you must do on a regular basis to keep your machine running properly and avoid expensive repairs. How often you descale is based on machine usage and how hard your water is. If your machine is used daily with moderately hard water, we recommend descaling every 45 to 90 days. But you should adjust the interval to be more frequent with heavier use or if you have harder source water. A word of caution, if your machine is severely behind in preventative descaling, say four months of daily use without being descaled, it may be best to have it serviced professionally. Yeah, descaling a long neglected machine can free large scale deposits which can plug up components like valves and gauges. So to descale you will need three things. A blind filter, also called a back flush disc, mounted in your portafilter, a large receptacle, and a descaling agent. Descaling agents come in powder and liquid forms. If your machine's manual specifies a specific brand, we suggest you use that. Otherwise, descaling agents from Ernex are a fine choice. We especially like Ernex Full Circle products, which are biodegradable, phosphate-free, and odorless. Ernex Descal and Full Circle descaling products are available under the Parts and Care tab at wholelattelove.com. To get started, turn your machine on and let it heat up to operational pressure. We're demonstrating on a Profitech Pro 500, but the descaling process is the same for most any machine with a heat exchange boiler. Once your machine is up to temperature, turn it off. Then open the hot water valve. Steam pressure forces out liquid water in the boiler. After that, operate the brew group lever to discharge water in the heat exchanger. When no more water flows, Close the hot water valve and the brew group lever. Prepare the descaling solution according to the instructions. If using Ernex Descal or Full Circle Descaler, mix the powder or liquid with 32 ounces of water. If using the powder type, be sure to mix until completely dissolved. Add the descaling solution to the machine's water tank and turn the machine on. The pump will turn on, filling the boiler with the descaling solution. After the pump stops, operate the brew group lever until liquid is discharged by the group. This fills a heat exchanger with the descaling solution. Now place the porta filter with the blind filter into the brew group and lock in place. Now operate the brew group lever three times, leaving it in the run position for 20 seconds each time. Move the lever to the lower position after each operation. This process descales the expansion valve. Now let the descaler react in the boiler for 20 minutes. After that, release the remaining descaler by operating the brew group lever until the water tank is empty and no more liquid is dispensed. Switch off the machine, remove the nozzle from the hot water dispenser, and open the hot water valve. Steam pressure will push out any descaler left in the boiler. We took off the hot water nozzle so no scale gets trapped in it when draining the boiler. Remove the water tank, rinse and refill with fresh water. Replace the tank and turn the machine on. The boiler will refill with the fresh water. When the pump stops, operate the brew group lever three times for about 20 seconds each with the blind filter still in place. This rinses the expansion valve. Be sure to move the lever to the lower position after each operation. Remove the blind filter and operate the brew group lever for about 60 seconds in order to rinse the heat exchanger. To fully rinse the boiler, repeat the following procedure three to five times. Switch the machine off and operate the hot water valve to drain the boiler. Refill the water tank and turn the machine on. Allow the machine to come up to operating pressure. Then turn the machine off and open the hot water valve to drain. Again, repeat that process three to five times to fully rinse the boiler. When done, you have completed the descaling procedure. I'm Morgan. And I'm Mark. Thanks for watching. And if you'd like more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest on everything coffee. Hey, why not subscribe now for easy, free access to more videos on everything coffee brought to you by wholelattelove.com. Oh,